morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Update. Today is National Paranormal Day, so make sure to keep your eyes open for any spooky specters. Like Theo over here. Needless to say, I had a bit of an accident during my seance this morning, but that wasn't going to stop me from reporting the news. Well, regardless of any haunting happenings, let's get on to today's announcements. Mask and I'm at Model UN team participated in their final conference of the year at Winmont, a one-day simulation hosted by Winchester High School. 150 delegates from 17 schools around New England came to debate and collaborate in a mix of traditional, historical, and fantastical committees that were both educational and fun. Special congrats to Nora Cohen, Bell DiCarlo, Landon Boltier, and Hudson Schmeider, who were all awarded recipients. Great work, Model UN team. Save the date. Freshman Colby Young is organizing a concert to raise awareness for Alzheimer's disease on July 13th. It will be held at the Andover Youth Center and promises to be a great afternoon of music, fun, and community. For more information, you can email Colby at this email below. The informational meeting for the girls' soccer team will be on Tuesday, May 7th at 2.30 in Lodge Cafeteria. Please bring computer to complete an online form. If you cannot make it to the meeting, please send an email to Ms. Lassess and stop by Coach Bicyclia's room on Wednesday, May 8th for an important handout and information. In sports news, today you can cheer on the softball team or the boys' tennis team who are both at home at 4. Or head on out to Gloucester to see the girls' tennis team in action. On Monday, if you can go to Winthrop, you can watch both the girls' tennis team and the girls' lacrosse team, who will both be playing there at 4. And the boys' tennis team, the baseball team, the softball team, and the boys' lacrosse team will all be playing at home on Monday. There's no rest for the lacrosse teams, as they will both be back at it on Tuesday. The girls will be at home, and the boys will be in North Andover. On Wednesday, the boys' tennis team and softball teams will be playing at home. The baseball team will be in Marblehead. The girls' tennis team will be in Beverly, and the track and field teams will be competing in Peabody. And finally, there are still lots of home games on Thursday. These include softball, girls' tennis, and both girls' and boys' lacrosse. The boys' tennis team will be in Swampscott. I really hope you'll get on out there next week and watch at least a game or two. The athletes love having the fans come and cheer them on. That's all for me. And in more sports news, last week was an amazing week for Masco Girls Track and Field when they went back-to-back state finalists in the state relays. The week started with an NEC win at Swampscott. Leading the way for Masco was Caroline Losey with three victories and a special sisters 4x400 relay team of Lily Pudgerski, Finley Pudgerski, Willa Paglarani, and Ada Paglarani. Masco winners in the field include Lauren Bowner, Sophie Dumas, Remy Cote, and Samia Lalikos. On the track, winners included Ada Paglarani, Sophie Santangelo, Jenna Lindsay, Madison Gaboschmidt, Ellie Green, and our very own Piper Testa. Showing great depth of talent, Masco Girls track and field ended last week by bringing home the runner-up state relays trophy for the second year in a row. The team medaled 11 of the 13 events they entered. The senior captains led the way. Sophie Dumas led the throwers to medals in the discus and javelin. Jenna Lindsay medaled in all three of her events. Lauren Bowner and Caroline Losey were also three for three. In the distance events, Ellie Green doubled and medaled in both of her relays. Huge congrats to the entire girls track and field team. having a great week. Today, I would like to recommend Dua Lipa's latest song, Illusion, for her upcoming third studio album, Radical Optimism. Watch the video, too. Dua Lipa is an in English and Albanian singer and songwriter. She has won numerous awards, including seven Brit Awards, and three Grammy Awards. Dua Lipa worked as a model before signing a record deal. Time Magazine included her in its list of the top 100 influential people in the world for 2024. Illusion is a really good song to dance to. I love the beat. The video was filmed in the Olympic 
ring in Barcelona, which held the diving event in water polo for the 1992 Summer Olympics. The video has diving and synchronized swimming. Really cool. If you got a chance, watch it. Okay, that's all for me. Have a great weekend, everyone. Girls Across Team has partnered with Community Giving Tree to run a clothing and toiletry drive until May 13th. We're looking to collect lots of items like new Gen Lee's athletic shorts or shirts, pajama bottoms, hoodies, sweatpants, or leggings. They're also collecting new socks and hygiene products like toothbrushes, shampoo, and deodorant. The drop-off bins are located in front of the high school library. These items go directly to helping their local families in need, so if you've got stuff lying around, donate it next week. Attention all freshmen, you've only got a week and a half left to get your donations in for the freshman walk. Donations are due May 15th and the walk is May 17th. We are looking to raise $16,500 for the service dog project. Don't forget those permission slips and don't forget to ask for donations. If you have any questions, see, see Mr. Kelson in room 2220. to beat the basket. This week, we have another very special guest host, and it is yours truly, Miss McAuliffe. What's up, Masco? Well, welcome, Miss McAuliffe. This week, we have a very important segment, a much requested segment on steak bombs. So we have two identical steak bomb orders here. I'm not good with the math. Can you inform me which one is longer? Thanks for asking, Mr. Kelson. If we put them flush this mm. way, it's obvious that this one has a higher length. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get right into round one. Appearance. We have unwrapped the two identical orders. Tell me what you see. What are your first impressions? Let's start with the one on the left. First off, I thought it was a unique approach where they wrapped each half individually, mm. which makes it easy to share, for example. Shows consideration. Consideration and respect for the product. On the other hand, I noticed this one is not a Did they expect a single individual to just take this entire thing? So I see a little divot here, but that's a bold statement saying, like, I deserve more than you. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Personally, looking at the two, this one looks juicier and more cheesier. It just looks more appealing. This one, it looks, again, a little dry to me. Um, and it looks like it, wa it wasn't fresh. It's not properly made, if you ask me. All right, awesome. Now that we looked at appearance, let's dig into taste. So let's start with the one on the left. All right, remember to savor the flavor. All right, Ms. McCullough, what are, you, what are your thoughts on that first steak and cheese? Yeah, the first thing I thought was this is a well put together steak and cheese. Everything is integrated really well. Mm. Um, I can't tell what's going on where, but the cheese is very well pronounced. I can taste it, I can see it, and I really like that in the sub. I agree. To me, the most important part of a steak and cheese is the cheese. There's no steak and cheese without it. And it was dispersed evenly throughout, which I love. All right, well now let's try uh, the second one. Enjoy. All right, what did you think of this one? Thank you for asking. I, I, I feel like the overall taste is very comparable. This is more separated, where I can I can distinguish between the tastes and the flavors. So that that works for some people. For me, I kind of prefer the integration of everything in, in one bite. You know, mm -hmm. I, I agree. Like if I had a blindfold on, I don't think I could taste like the difference between the two. Um, but again, it comes back to the cheese. I feel like this was a little drier. You didn't get that pump of cheese. Mm -hmm. All right. So while I think the rolls are comparable. I'm still a believer that one is soggier than the other. I think this one, look at that bottom. Yeah, It's, and, it's soggy. I, I respect you as a human, but I could make the same argument about this one. I think depending on your vantage point, it's gonna be soggy one way or another. I mean, it's okay to be wrong, but this is dry. You're right, you can be wrong. I think I could also take a piece of this roll and say this spot right here is dry. So mm. I don't, I don't wanna ruin the analysis because we're gonna have this silly quabble. We can agree to disagree on that one, but let's move on. 
I'd just like to add that the length that we previously talked about was a little misleading, which I feel slightly lied to. The packaging made it seem like one of them was substantially longer, but it isn't. They're the same size. Do you think it was your fault as the math expert? No, my mathematics was not wrong. Okay. So as always with Beat the Basket, we have to go into price. I mean, it's a tough market out there. Literally. Literally. So we have on the left. Pre-tax, six ninety nine. No, I know. Blew my mind. Yeah. On the right. Yeah. Same. Thirteen fifty. Let that sink in. I can't. Thirteen fifty. So all things considered, which one are you going for? Now that I know the price, especially I chose this one over taste, and I choose that one with that price considered. It's an easy option. I'd have to agree with you. And for the second time, besides your amazing sense of fashion. We agree. I didn't even notice that. Hey! <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Once again, this Tritown institution did not beat the basket. Have a good day. Okay, that's off one morning update. You know, I don't think I'm scared of ghosts anymore. I mean, they just make things flow. What's the harm in that? Well, maybe you should watch a few ghost horror movies to see how scared you should be. <laughs> anyway, anyway, thank you all for watching. And if you see any weird books or old board games, leave them alone. Have a great weekend, everyone. <laughs>